Hello, I'm Kamal Naseem. Today I'll be talking about an interesting paper on change detection over time, which is named as End-to-End -end Change Detection for High Resolution Satellite Images Using Improved Unit++, which is published in a remote sensing journal in year 2019. The authors of the paper are Dai Feng Peng, Yongjun Zhang, and Hian Guan. With ever-increasing Earth observation data available from all kinds of satellite, such as Sentinel Landsat, it is easy to obtain multi-temporal remote sensing data using the same or different sensors. Based on multi-temporal remote sensing images acquired at same geographical areas, the task of change detection is the process of identifying differences in the state of an object or natural phenomena by observing it at different times, which is a significant issue to accurately process and understand the change of Earth's surface. Uh, generally, uh, uh, change detection has been widely applied in numerous fields such as land cover, land use mapping, natural resource investigation, urban expansion, monitoring, uh, environmental assessment and rapid response to disaster events. Traditional change detection method can be divided into two categories, pixel-based change detection and object-based change detection. Uh, in pixel-based change detection, a uh, difference image is uh, usually generated by directly comparing pixel spectra or textual values from which the final change map is obtained by threshold segmentation or cluster analysis. Uh, there are many uh, pixel-based change detection approaches are already out there uh, such as image algebra-based methods, image transformation-based methods, image classification-based method, and machine learning-based methods. However, contextual information neglected for pixels are treated independently, which leads to a great deal of salt and pepper noise. To overcome the drawbacks, a spatial contextual information has to be considered for delineating the spatial properties. To model a spatial contextual information, many models have been introduced such as simple neighboring windows, Markovnikov random fields, conditional random fields, and hypergraph models. However, pixel-based uh, change detection methods, which are mostly suitable for middle and low resolution remote sensing images, they often tend to fail to work in very high resolution images for the increased variability within the objects. While object based uh, change detection methods are proposed for change detection in very high resolution images, particularly where images are segmented into disjoints and homogeneous objects first, followed by comparison and analysis of bitemporal objects. As abundant spectral, textual, structural, and geometric information can be extracted within image objects, similarity analysis of the bitemporal objects using those features are mostly suitable in object-based detection change detection. Deep learning-based change detection methods are divided into three main categories: feature-based uh, deep learning change detection, patch-based deep learning change detection, and image-based deep learning change detection. In feature-based deep learning change detection, uh, features are handcrafted, designed for particular task only, which need a great deal of expert uh, knowledge, expert domain knowledge, and they possess very poor generalization. Uh, while pixel-based deep learning change detection Rather than using uh, difference images directly for obtaining change detection uh, results in feature-based uh, deep learning change detection, pixel patches are constructed from raw images, which are fed into elaborate DL model to learn the change duration of the center pixels. In image-based deep learning change detection, uh, semantic segmentation are uh, utilized. A fully, uh, a fully convolutional networks is widely used due to its high efficiency and accuracy. Segmentation results are generated from images to images through an end-to-end -end, uh, training, which reduces the effect of pixel patches as much as possible. To address all the issues in the previous mentioned methodologies, uh, this paper uh, proposes a novel end-to-end -end method based on improved unit++ 
which is an effective encoder decoder architecture for semantic segmentation a novel loss function was also designed and an effective deep supervision strategy was implemented uh, which is capable of capturing changes with varying sizes effectively in complex scenes uh, so the main contribution of this paper are in three folds uh, first uh, they present a comprehensive summary of deep learning uh, change detection techniques uh, which is useful for grasping the development process and tendency of deep learning change detection an end-to-end -end, uh, CNN architecture was proposed for change detection of uh, very high resolution satellite images where an improved unit plus plus model with a uh, novel deep supervision is presented so as to capture subtle changes in the challenging scenes a comprehensive comparison of the existing FCM based end to end uh, change detection method was investigated. Based on standard CNN, a patch based CNN approach was proposed where the labels of each pixel is generated by the patch enclosing it. Nevertheless, the approach leads to great deficiency on both speed and accuracy for the correlations among patches ignored and many redundant computations on overlapped regions are introduced. While Long et al. Proposed, first proposed FCN for semantic segmentation where fully connected layers are removed and replaced by convolutional layers. In a fully connected uh, neural network, uh, input images are downsampled into small images after several convolution and pooling operations then the downsampled images are upsampled into the original size by bilinear interpolation or uh, deconvolution. Since the computation are shared across the overlapping areas, the fully connected neural network achieves great efficiency. In order to make final predictions, some methods uh, utilize uh, methodologies such as atlas convolution, residual connections and pyramid pooling modules. To expand the receptive field and overcoming the vanishing gradient problems. Uh, most used encoder decoder uh, algorithm is SegNet, uh, where unpooling operation is included for better upsampling. However, skip connections are ignored, uh, leading to poor spatial accuracy. This issue was addressed by unit and extension of SegNet by adding a skip connection between encoder and decoder layers. It has better spatial accuracy and achieves great success in semantic segmentation in both medical images and remote sensing images. So this is an image of a standard encoder decoder CNN architecture. Uh, an input image goes through the encoder part first to generate down sampled feature maps uh, which consist of several convolutional layer and max pooling layer in sequence. Uh, to obtain better convergence of deep uh, networks, each con layer is followed by batch normalization and uh, ReLU layers. Then the in uh, decoder part is implemented for upsampling the feature maps uh, to the same size as the original image, where upsampling layers are followed by several con layers to produce dense feature uh, with so fine resolution. And finally, a soft max layer is added to uh, generate a final segmentation map. Uh, the structure of uh, encoder and decoder parts are symmetrical with skip connections between them which proves to be effective uh, to produce fine-grained segmentation results. Uh, a novel medical image segmentation architecture uh, called uh, UNIT++ which is basically an extension of UNIT. Uh, that is what has been used in this uh, study. Uh, to reduce the semantic gap between the feature maps from encoder and decoder subnetworks, Unit++ uses a series of nested and dense skip pathways rather than only connections between encoder and decoder networks which was originally in Unit. Uh, the Unit++ architecture, Unit++ architecture possesses the advantage of cap uh, uh, capturing fine-grained uh, details and uh, change detection uh, problem can be uh, classified in a binary image segmentation problem uh, where uh, two periods of image are constructed as the input of the network which proves to be effective for learning by temporal changes through the deep supervised training. Okay. Unit++ model with dense skip connection is adopted as 
बैकबोन टू लर्न मल्टी स्केल एंड डिफरेंट सेमेंटिक लेवल्स ऑफ विजुअल फीचर रिप्रेजेंटेशन टू फर्दर इम्प्रूव द स्पेशल डिटेल्स डीप सुपरविजन इज इम्प्लीमेंटेड बाई यूजिंग मल्टीपल साइड आउटपुट फ्यूजन एंड फाइनली ए सिगमॉइड लेयर इज फॉलो टू जनरेट ए फाइनल चेंज मैप Uh, so this is the figure of the proposed arc unit plus plus architecture which have been used in this uh, paper uh, unit this unit plus plus uh, architecture uh, with nested dense skip pathways has great benefit for uh, extracting multi scale feature maps from multi level convolutional pathways which is uh, similar to unit architecture uh, a, a normal unit plus plus architecture consists of a convolutional unit down sampling unit and up sampling modules and a skip connection between convolutional units uh, the most significant difference between unit plus plus and unit is the redesigned skip pathways which adopts the same dense connection strategies as a uh, dense net uh, for example take this uh, x04 uh, node okay, where only one skip connection is applied uh, from x00 uh, in unit architecture while in unit plus plus uh, architecture uh, this particular node receives the skip connection from all previous uh, convolutional units at the same level uh, which are basically x00 x01 x02 and x03 so in such a way uh, the semantic levels of uh, encoder feature map are closer uh, to those in corresponding decoder part which facilitates the uh, optimization of the optimizer uh, and uh, residual modules are adopted in convolutional unit and this is the convolutional unit uh, which have been used uh, so this particular convolution convolutional unit facilitates better convergent abilities for our uh, for our network a 2d convolutional layer is implemented first which is followed by uh, batch normalization layer and then further convolutional layer and batch normalization layer is applied finally the output will be generated by uh, the uh, by adding the output from second batch normalization layer and first convolutional uh, layer uh, it should be noted that a scaled exponential uh, linear unit selus uh, is adopted as the act activation function instead of relu uh, which allows for employing a stronger regularization schemes and uh, making learning highly robust another major difference is the multi level full uh, resolution feature map generating strategy only a single level feature map is generated in unit architecture through this particular pathway okay and uh, while in unit plus plus uh, another uh, three full resolution feature map was also obtained through these pathways as you can see uh, thus uh, the strength of the four uh, full resolution feature map uh, could be combined uh, which is also beneficial for a later stage and, uh, and uh, deep uh, deep supervision is is also implemented in this particular uh, model uh, this deep uh, supervision is usually implemented by means of supervising side output layers these are the side output layers through auxiliary classifiers so uh, deep supervision is implemented by averaging the outputs of all segmentation branches uh, which actually fails to work in our uh, change detection task so what they did is basically they adopted multi uh, multi uh, multi site output uh, fusion strategy uh, which is similar to uh, the one uh, as you can see over here so what happens is uh, for for the four output nodes uh, these are the four output nodes a sigmoid layer is followed to obtain the site output results and uh, and a new output uh, layer uh, and a new output is obtained this uh, y05 uh, is generated uh, by concatenating all the four uh, side output results and this again this particular x05 is uh, followed by a sigmoid layer and the fusion output y05 could be generated so uh, five outputs are generated in our deep networks namely uh, this y01 y02 y03 y04 y05 where uh, y05 is the fusion output of y01 y02 y03 and y04 through the msof operation uh, a multi level feature information from all side output layers are embedded in the final output y05 which is capable of uh, capturing finer spatial details so in the proposed uh, fully connected network architecture five output layers are generated after the classifiers of sigmoid layer and the overall loss accuracy is uh, defined with using these formulas 
and this uh, L side denotes the loss of ith uh, side output which is employed by uh, combining binary uh, balanced binary cross entropy and uh, dice uh, coefficient function and this lambda uh, refers to the weight that balances the two losses and uh, this uh, balanced binary cross entropy uh, is basically why are we using this and uh, how we using is basically the distribution of changed and unchanged pixels are heavily biased uh, some areas are covered by only change or unchanged pixels which leads to serious class imbalance problem during deep neural network training so therefore uh, a trade off parameters had had to be introduced for uh, this bias sampling uh, a simple automatically balancing strategy is uh, adapted in this paper uh, and the class balanced uh, cross entropy loss function was introduced using this particular formula where uh, beta and 1 minus beta are the weighting factors defined by these two formulas and uh, and uh, for the dice coefficient uh, loss uh, uh, this is but basically introduced to improve segmentation performance and weaken the effect of uh, class imbalance problem uh, similarity of two contour regions uh, is defined by uh, this uh, dice coefficient uh, which is uh, formulated by this particular formula uh, where y and y cap is uh, basically meaning uh, predicted probabilities and ground truth levels of training images pairs so uh, this proposed uh, methodology is implemented on keras with uh, tensorflow as backend uh, uh, and the and the basically uh, it is powered by a workstation with Intel Xeon CPU W2123 uh, with these particular specifications and it had one uh, NVIDIA uh, GPU uh, so during training procedure uh, Adam optimizer was used with the learning rate of 10 to the power minus 5 uh, uh, learning rate and uh, due to uh, GPU memory constraint uh, batch size uh, of 8 uh, was used for 15 epochs and uh, a, a step uh, a step wise uh, learning rate scheduler was uh, used that uh, that uh, decreased learning rate at every 5 epochs for an image uh, patch with size of uh, 256 cross 256 it take around 0 0.04 seconds to predict the final change uh, detected map with uh, high efficiency uh, a publicly available data set of uh, satellite image pairs uh, were obtained by Google Earth covering uh, season varying remote sensing image of uh, same region. So there were 11 multi spectral image, image pairs in the data set uh, including 7 pairs of season varying images with a size of uh, 4725 cross 2200 pixels for creating manual reference maps and 4 pairs of images with size of 1900 cross uh, 1000 pixels for adding additional objects manually. So dataset consisted of a uh, multi-source remote sensed uh, imagery with resolution varying from 3 cm to 100 cm pixels uh, where the uh, season changes between bi-temporal images vary largely. Uh, during the generation of a uh, reference map, only the appearance and disappearance of objects were considered as images changes while ignoring changes due to uh, season differences, brightness and other factors. Also, uh, as it is impossible to train CNN, CNNs with uh, large images due to uh, limitation of GPU, image patch, uh, patch had to be uh, generated. Uh, so, 10,000 training sets were generated and 3,000 uh, uh, testing and validation sets were generated uh, with, uh, the, with by cropping 256 cross 256 randomly uh, rotated frag, uh, images with uh, at least a part of object being present. Uh, so uh, this is the image of uh, the data set that was uh, generated uh, so this particular uh, column is for the uh, image at uh, one particular uh, period and this is for the second period and uh, this is the uh, ground truth that was uh, generated out of these two periods and as you can see uh, that uh, mostly uh, object based changes are uh, considered in this particular data set where in this first column as you can see that the, the they, it can the ground truth detects uh, the car ch car uh, car place changes where in this uh, particular thing uh, in this particular row uh, a tank change is considered while uh, the landform changes are not as much considered uh, 
uh, in this particular in in this particular uh, row road change is considered uh, because uh, in this earlier uh, image there was not there was no road present but in the second image the road is present and that is what uh, uh, we are try that is what the paper is trying to predict and uh, in this particular image as you can see that uh, the building is being uh, uh, detected as well as this particular building and in the in the last row uh, some of the uh, land changes are also uh, considered in uh, while generating the data set uh, in order to verify the validity of uh, the proposed method four evaluation metrics were uh, considered precision uh, recall f1 score overall accuracy in the uh, change detection task a large value of p denotes a small number of false alarms and a large value of r uh, represents a small number of missed detection while f1 and overall uh, accuracy reveals the overall performance where uh, their large value will lead to better performance and uh, these are the formulas that have been used uh, convolutional kernel of size 3 cross 3 pixel is uh, set for all the convolutional layer and uh, the number of convolutional filters in encoder part is set to is set to 32 64 128 256 and uh, 512 uh, filters and uh, these two period uh, of uh, RGB images with size of 256 cross 256 pixels are uh, stacked to each other uh, to feed into the network so that way the input tensor uh, became 256 cross 256 cross 6 pixels while output tensor became 256 cross 256 cross uh, 1 pixels and uh, the weight of uh, each uh, side output uh, wi is set to 1 and uh, while uh, lambda is set to 0 0.5 for uh, balancing the weight of binary cross entropy loss and dice coefficient loss uh, loss function plays an important role in uh, the final uh, change detection results uh, in particular parameter lambda uh, which basically balances the weight of binary cross entropy loss and dice uh, coefficient loss is of great uh, uh, significance uh, lambda has been valued from 0 to 1.0 and uh, corresponding evaluation metrics were calculated uh, when lambda is set to 0 only binary cross entropy loss is utilized where uh, precision recall f1 score and overall accuracy is very low as you can see over here uh, and then uh, for uh, quantitative evaluation metrics uh, increased with the increase of uh, parameter lambda and which verifies uh, the effectiveness of combining binary cross entropy loss and uh, dice co uh, coefficient loss uh, so uh, precision recall f1 score and uh, overall accuracy reach at its max uh, with uh, when lambda was set to uh, 0 0.5 and uh, when lambda was further increased uh, all these parameters uh, decrease therefore parameter of lambda 0 0.05 were uh, set for uh, better performance uh, in this uh, slide, uh, we'll see uh, the effect of data augmentation. Uh, initially, raw data set contained uh, about 10,000 training and uh, 3,000 validation and testing data set. After uh, augmentation, uh, such as uh, shifting, scaling, rotation by 90 degree, 180 degree to 70 degree, flipping in horizontal and vertical direction, uh, augmented data, final data set became around uh, 70,000 uh, training as well uh, and uh, 21,000 uh, validation and testing set as you can see from all uh, from the graph that uh, after augmentation uh, almost every uh, evaluation metrics uh, in increased by a large uh, large percentage so uh, augmentation is a very crucial step Mm. As you can see from this figure that uh, accuracy of uh, change detection is further improved uh, by usage of MSOF strategy uh, with the increase in all uh, metrics uh, by some percentage. Uh, this is because feature map from multiple semantic levels are combined where more detailed information are captured. Uh, in this slide as you can see that uh, in this paper uh, they have uh, compared their proposed methodologies evaluation metrics with uh, other uh, six um, existing methodologies and uh, as you can see that they uh, this proposed methodology has outperformed all other uh, existing method uh, state of the art uh, methodologies mm, even though they have got uh, less uh, number of uh, parameters as you can see from this graph that it has only uh, 9 million uh, parameters uh, opposed to this fc sim conk and uh, Mm, FC SIMDIF and FC uh, PP uh, method, but still uh, it has it is uh, but still this method is uh, able to outperform all the other. Uh
uh, in this figure and in uh, coming figures as well uh, author has showed the output from proposed methodology and uh, compared it with uh, uh, with existing sota methods uh, these are the images at uh, first period and these are the uh, images from the second period and this is the ground truth and uh, this is uh, the uh, output from uh, proposed methodology and remaining other uh, uh, images are the output from uh, the compared uh, existing SOTA methods and as you can see uh, that this output is far better than the other outputs as it's able to clearly predict uh, the roads uh, opposed to what other uh, model predicted and it is uh, closely matching with the ground truth in this uh, image as well as you can see in the bounding box uh, this uh, uh, this particular uh, proposed methodology is able to clearly predict this uh, area while uh, other methodologies are unable to predict the same and it is uh, and this uh, output is closely resembling to the ground truth uh, similarly in this image uh, the vehicles are way and are not uh, pretty much clear in any of the other existing sota algorithms while with the, while with the uh, while the, with the output from proposed methodology as you can see that it mm, clear it is able to predict uh, with a better accuracy and uh, is uh, quite comparable with uh, the uh, ground truth uh, same goes for this uh, result image uh, the accuracy uh, between uh, the ground truth and the image predicted by a proposed methodology is better as compared to other uh, sota algorithm uh, other uh, existing sota algorithms in this uh, result as well uh, as you can see that there is a road change but none of the uh, sota existing uh, models are able to predict this uh, detect this change uh, detect this change while uh, the proposed methodology is able to detect this particular change clearly lastly in this image as well uh, the change detection is i mean not even visible by our eyes but uh, our, but the proposed methodology is uh, clearly able to predict uh, the road change while other uh, existing sota algorithms are unable to pick that up so in conclusion an improved unit plus plus architecture was proposed for end to end uh, change detection of uh, vhr satellite images the dense skip connection within the unit plus plus architecture were utilized uh, to learn multi scale feature maps from different semantic levels in order to facilitate uh, gradient convergence of the deep fca network they adopted a residual block strategy which was also helpful for capturing more detailed information in addition to this the msof w uh, msof strategy was adopted to combine multi scale side output feature map and then generate the final uh, change map to reduce the class imbalance effect and they combine the weighted uh, binary cross entropy loss and dice coefficient loss effectively the effectiveness of the proposed method uh, was elaborately examined through the experiments on the vhr satellite image dataset compared with other sota uh, methods the proposed approach obtained the best change detection uh, performance on both visual comparison as well as uh, quantitative matrix evaluation